Hey, good morning everyone. It's Mary Fane Brandt with a LinkedIn Bakery and this is your Monday Motivation with Mary. You can find me right here every Monday morning at 7 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time right now with a really quick motivation tip for you for the week. Seven minutes or less, that's my goal. I think I'm making it that goal, reaching that goal. But I just want you to start your your week off right with something maybe to think about, something to motivate or inspire you. Hey, let me know where you're watching from. And if you're watching the replay, can you type hashtag replay? Because I do want to go back in and I want to engage with you and answer any questions. I'll have a question for you at the end of this motivation uh, tip. So... We're in July. We just finished the first half of the year, and I want to know, how are you feeling? How are you doing? I've kind of dubbed July as self-care month. You know, kids are out of school. A lot of families take vacation. We take vacation in July, and so I just wanted you to check in with you and see how you're doing, and what are you doing to take care of yourself? Now, I'm not one of those crazy entrepreneurs that works till midnight or one in the morning. God bless you guys that you do, and maybe you're out doing things during the day. Um, I don't work crazy hours like that for two reasons. One, I like my sleep. It's good for your skin and your mind and your body. And two, um, I don't take on more work than I can handle. I am looking at partnering up with a couple savvy business professionals in the near future so I can expand my business and expand my services. But I have grown my business organically. I started my business part-time when my mom was sick. And that might be one reason why I don't work crazy hours. I believe in a balanced life. And it could be because I lost my mom a couple years ago and I was able to spend all that time and I was working part-time in the business while taking care of her and things have shifted obviously now, but I'm still growing my business slowly, organically, and it feels right. Now, when I started off, I wanted to just blow it up. And thankfully, God didn't do that for me because it wasn't the right time for me and I wasn't prepared. I am getting ready to get prepared for that, but again... I'm doing it on my terms and I'm building my business where I'm not missing out on life. So I hope that you don't miss out on life because you can't get that back. You can always continue to build your business, but you can't get time back with family and friends and your health. So it's really important to have a balanced life and it's important to check out. So what I mean by checking out, like really check out. Don't be on social media. Don't be answering emails. And I'm going to share with you what we just did. Hubby and I took a quick five-day trip out to Lake Havasu to see my dad and stepmom and some friends. We had a great time. And I am learning that when I go out there, why I take some work to do on the road because we're in the car. And I can probably work for about three hours in the car. You know, checking email, uh, checking Facebook, doing some LinkedIn work. I did write an article a good size article um, on the way out there, and I checked it. I kind of did some re rework on editing of it. I probably only worked about five hours this entire vacation time, and I'm okay with that, but I don't want to work more than that because we all need to check out and take care of ourselves. So going to the lake is great for me because, you know what, in the middle of the lake on a boat, you're not going to take your laptop, and the only pictures I'm taking are us on the boat and posting those for our family and friends, not for my business so much. So what do you do to recharge, relax, and re-energize yourself? Because really, to be the best you can in your business, you need to take time off. So if you're not doing that, I'd love for you to think about how you can do that. And if you already have vacation, or if you have a way, maybe it's a day, maybe it's a spa day, maybe it's a day at the beach. We live in San Diego. Going to the beach is a day off for me. I love it. It really re-energizes me and it fills my heart. So what fills your heart? Can you go do that? Can you plan that for this month? I really want to encourage you to take some time off. Take some time for yourself. You need to self-care. You need to take care of yourself so that you can be the best business owner that you can be. You can be the best service provider. You can make the best product. You can... Fill the stage and be the best speaker out there. But you need to unplug once in a while and you need to recharge. Now, saying that I only worked about five hours for these last five days, it's okay because I just finished up with clients and I only have a couple left because I'm working on a new project. So I told Heavy, yes, I'm taking this time off. But this week, it's a six-day work week. And I'm okay with that 
because Sunday is Sunday fun day. It's church and a pool party. So I have one full day where I'm not working. And I want to encourage you, your the entrepreneurs that are just starting off, or maybe you're super successful and you're rising to the top. Are you taking time for yourself and your family and your friends? I hope that you are, and I'd like to know what you do. So drop below in the comments how you recharge, relax. Is it a massage? Is it a mini vacation? You know, three days away can make all the difference. Now, the one area in my life that I have been neglecting is the exercise plan. And Bella Vista has started an accountability group. So I actually have a Sue. I did like some squats. What I do, I did like some squats and a, some push ups, not very many, but I did that. And I carried a full case of water from the boat to the house and the driveway. Can you see that at my dad's? Is probably like that. And I did like shoulder presses with it. So that counted as exercise. But still, that is an area that I need to work on. So, and it's so hot. So, walking outside right now in San Diego, not going to happen. And my boxing class that I love is in a gym. But they didn't have fans before, like last month. So I'm going to have to see if they got their fans. It's just really hot in the gym. So I'm looking for a pool to go swim in. Got any ideas? Pool that I can swim in around 5 o'clock. Okay, I got to go. This is your Monday Motivation Tip with Mary. Now please note my next Facebook Live show is not this Wednesday. It's next Wednesday. I can't remember the date, but I'll drop it in the comments. And also the online social media summit the launches and my uh, my little tidbit on there. Uh, my interview will be featured, I believe, today. We'll drop that in the comments too. You all take care and take care of yourself. This is Mary with the LinkedIn Bakery. Ciao.